No more fusion apps. First, I'm gonna go over how shit Fusion's administration is. Then I'll reveal the novice level vulnerabilities that they have failed to secure. Then I'll mention a couple competitors, uh, ranging from open source to cloud hosted. I'm sure one of those will suit you better than Fusion. They'll also be linked in the description. Fusion is sus. This all started because Fusion wanted to start provoking other offs. Clearly they're admitting this by saying a lot of other offs don't like us. Yeah, I wonder why. And then talking about unsolicited advertising, which is against Discord's US. No wonder they would ban it. And then the problem with Safeguard, you're acting like it was unprovoked. But if we go to your profile, then we go to your verified GitHub on your profile, your Discord profile, we can see that you reverse engineered their DLL. So don't act like there was <laughs> no reason. I'm not saying Safeguard's good, Safeguard's really bad, so is AuthGG, but let's just put that out there. Another thing, a DDoS script? Really? Is that what an owner of a cybersecurity project is supposed to be doing? I mean, this is more of a joke. It's, it's funny every time I hear them say that they're better. Then here we have Fuji saying that Bcrypt is not industry standard. That's far from the truth. Bcrypt, industry standard. I believe there's an article by Otho on it. Okay, so it's so, it's so non-industry standard that all these people in a real industry who have a real number of customers and like Fusion use it. Odd. They also lied to a user in their server saying that Kiosk faked their statistics. Which then was reinforced, well, it's definitely fake with zero evidence. And then once they were shown by Mac that it was not fake, they said, oh, well, I have a huge database too. You know, that's not true because someone asked them how many applications do they have. They have less than a quarter of what Kiosk has and probably less than a half of what many other offs have, so total BS all around. They also claim that they don't have any downtime, and they've not experienced any downtime. Somewhere else they said that as well. It's just complete BS. Zero downtime, except for when we stress testing. Let's go and show that that's not true. Alright, so now we go to DMs with Yoni, which was a large customer, or is a large customer of Fusion. He has one of the most expensive plans, I believe, if not the most expensive. And uh, this is what he said about login response, about uptime. So while the website may st stay up all the time, the API is unreachable due to a firewall or whatever. So it's really not 100% uptime like they're trying to claim. Uh, clearly the DDoS effects attacks are affecting either the server, I doubt it's stack path, it's probably OVH, because if your attacks reach OVH, then OVH turns on their firewall. Uh, stack path w would probably make it so that it didn't happen, but OVH does, and I've felt that from experience before. So, clearly not 100% uptime. After that, I asked him if Fusion shows advertisements on his account too, since he has a paid account. And he said that he did get advertisements as well. So that's amazing that you pay so much a month per month monthly and you still get cookies tracking you and popping up to you when you're just trying to go about your business. Nice job, Fusion. And then we have them calling their own coach, which is crazy. So they were supposedly looking at the document page and then he called the code shit so I, I don't even know this guy is a weirdo Fusion also removed the critical review from Yoli and they've done so to other people in the past as well saying that he refused support this clearly was not evident as uh, he sent him the thing he's asked multiple times and and we have him asking again here. So we know that that's not true, that he refused. 
and they're now silencing critical reviews. Fusion is also broken. They have an execute API where it sends a request to your API from their server. Well, it only works with our auth. Their session checking and hardware ID apparently does not work. So he had to, to do their job. He had to make checks on his server. The hardware ID check doesn't work. The session check doesn't work. They don't even know how to fix their own code. So they're busy adding an adding API, which literally every other auth has already, when they can't even properly do the base of their service. He's also apparently been aware for several days, as he only said, and they're not doing anything. Gummy worms and rap music, that sounds pretty professional if you ask me. Alright, here to the exploit part of the video. So, you got your two accounts, clearly different. Usernames, I'll refresh just in case if anyone's skeptical. Different, totally different sessions on totally different accounts. And we're gonna click it on this one, and then we're gonna make an app over here. Okay, so you want to be on the like application homepage, not in the dashboard, but in the application homepage. You're going to inspect out all the contents currently, and you're going to replace with this. Uh, I mean, it's going to be patched by the time that you see this. Huh? I'm not going to really include this. Plus, you can easily do it. You just all you have to do is modify this to send the app ID, essentially. But, like I said, this is probably not going to work by the time you see this. So, I'm going to come grab the app ID over here of the account that I don't own on this one. I'm going to paste it right here. And then I'm going to press OK. And that should have deleted the app over here. And there it is. It's gone. I'll do it one more time just for uh, the sake of it. Because why not? So... Just thing. This time I'll stay in the dashboard over here. Or actually, I'll do it on... Yeah, since I did it on that account, I'll do it on this account. Just, I don't know. Okay. So I gotta go into the application. It will not work here. But like I said, it's gonna be probably patched by the time that you guys see this. Novice of them, uh, I don't understand how their levels ahead <laughs> doesn't look like it. Yoli also said that he found an exploit. I don't know if it's the same one. He didn't disclose it. Uh, once I release this, I'll ask him if it's the same one, and I'll try to remember to edit the pinned comment of this video and say whether it was the same exploit or not. But yeah, <laughs> hilarious. All right, here come the three competitors. This Kioth is an open source, and it also has cloud hosting, so you could either pay for them to host it, or you could host it yourself. Uh, this has a lot of features. Second one is Seoth. It does not have as many features. It's built pretty well. Uh, you'd have to fully self-host this yourself. There's no choice to uh, pay for them to host. Uh, third one, probably the cheapest. Kioth is closest to uh, Fusion's price. Um, and then for Seoth, by the way, uh, my you always said that yeah, he always in DDoS protection, supposedly, or something like that, and he recommended uh, OMG serve, so I'll try to put that down below too. He said they're really good for DDoS protection. And then the third one, which is probably the cheapest, uh, it, and it's built pretty well too, so all these are better than all GG, Safeguard, and definitely Fusion. And let me show you the pricing real quick. So there's, there's a free plan too. Subscriptions to this. And, I mean, it, it's pretty pretty solid, looks pretty good. Uh, it seemed to be built well, too, so. I like it. Uh, and you can look on YouTube and other forum posts for other authentication systems. Uh, there's there's so many out there. You have to be able to find one better than Auth3G, Fusion, or Safeguard. Thank you for watching so much, and uh, sorry if your application's gone. <laughs> I shouldn't have chose Fusion. Let's go!